Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob 11 back here again on the other stuff channel. Today we have a tour of the Northwest Airlines History Center in the Crown Plaza Air Hotel here in Bloomington, Minnesota. Um, of course, I filmed this while I was on my trip to the United States in 2019, um, uh, specifically July 11, 2019, and this video should go up around September 22nd, 2019. So, um, yes, you, is, uh, I'll let you guys watch the video while I'll talk a little bit about, you know, Northwest and Delta Airlines. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of KLM uh, stuff here as well, the, the Delta houses, you know. So, uh, Northwest Airlines and KLM were uh, really great partners back in the day. And, okay, so first things first is um, I've never personally flown Northwest. I never knew Northwest existed because I was probably still a kid and I wasn't that interested in airplanes back then. Um, and I only found out about Northwest uh, when I started liking Delta Airlines. So uh, as most of you know, Delta and Northwest merged um, in the 2009-2010 era, uh, those couple years. And of course, they kept the name Delta Airlines, so Northwest was integrated into Delta. Uh, and of course, that is where we are today. So there are a lot of cool things here. Like look at this Concorde um, for Northwest. It was never delivered, but you know, they even had the Dreamliner ordered and Delta canceled the order for 10 of them. So that was pretty unfortunate. But regardless, um, this history center is a great look at, the, of course, the history of Northwest and uh, you know, an integral part of Delta Airlines now because if you um, notice, a lot of their fleet is still being used by Delta. Uh, their A3, uh, A330s, um, some 757s, of course the A319, A320 fleet, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, their 747s which now have been retired, so it's no longer in use. Um, they stopped, the, the last flight was in December of 2017, so that's uh, about one and a half years ago, more than that actually, no, 18 months, um, 20, 20 months ago. So um, yeah, um, just I, I live in Singapore, so um, if you guys are keeping up with the Delta news, um, Delta has announced their exit from Singapore. Uh, in September of 2019 so this announcement was made internally on August 1st and of course the news uh, permeated out uh, into mainstream outlets by August 3rd even the local newspaper here in Singapore uh, put it in the papers because um, Delta has been in the Singapore market for well almost 10 I would say 8 to 9 years because um, preceding them were, was Northwest so basically Delta took over the Northwest service from uh, Singapore service from Northwest and continue operating it after they merged um, back in 2010 so um, Delta used to use the 777s um, at some point I believe they used the A330 for a really short time and um, then they moved over to the, 7, the 777 again for the bulk of uh, 2013 to 2015 and then they started using the 767-300ER uh, which is what you'll see on this channel um, of, of, because I, I've taken four trips on um, the Singapore Narita Singapore uh, leg and all four times it's gonna be on the 767-300ER so um, yeah, and unfortunately that's how it's gonna end. It's good. The last flight will be on September 22nd uh, 2019 of course with this trip uh, with this 767 300 ER um, And of course looking here in this video you can see a lot of Northwest's legacy um, Of course they were pioneers in the trans-pacific um, Air service right they had the, the you know, flights to the Orient back in the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. In fact, Token Narita was, the, of course, the uh, Asia hub, which is now literally non-existent. In fact, part of this whole uh, cancellation of Singapore service was the uh, entire shifting of the hub from Narita to Haneda. And even when it shifts over to Haneda, it's only going to be US Tokyo routes. Uh, it will no longer have intra-asia routes the manila flight for some reason 
is being kept. Uh, but it will be shifted over to Seoul Incheon. So, you know, uh, folks from the Philippines can connect on to the U.S. Uh, on the four flights, four Delta flights, uh, Detroit, Atlanta, um, La... Seattle. Yeah, not Los Angeles, Seattle, as well as Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, or on other Korean air flights if they choose to. So, yeah, um, unfortunately... The Singapore station is going to be completely closed, as of what I've heard so far. Um, and uh, of course, I'm making this uh, video way in advance. So it's still August. It's August 5th, actually, when I'm making this video. And it's really upsetting, actually, because, um, yeah, there's so much history behind this route from Narita to Singapore. Of course, Northwest uh, starting the service back in the 1960s. Right, uh, they they flew into the former Singapore International Airport here in Singapore, uh, located at Pile Bar, and um, of course when the, the new airport at Changi International opened, uh, they moved over there as well, and they continued their service, including um, even flying cargo flights, solely cargo flights, uh, back in the early 2000s from Narita to Singapore. So they had their own dedicated cargo. A Northwest Cargo Boeing 747s coming in and um, I think that was really cool yeah, unfortunately Northwest Cargo was dissolved by uh, Delta I'm not so sure whether they actually sold it but basically it's no longer existent and um, of course now all we have is the Delta Airlines passenger airline that we know and um, unfortunately they are pulling out of Singapore so I'm really disappointed I believe this is gonna be my tribute to Delta service and Northwest service Singapore um, and uh, yeah that's unfortunate I don't know if Delta is gonna come back on, uh, to me regarding a farewell video for Delta service in Singapore because I really hope to do a video like that uh, that'll be really great uh, but of course I've sent out an email to them and um, hopefully they uh, read it and you know um, allow me to make a video about it so that'll be really cool. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!